All right, like I could be wrong. I, I didn't mean to cut it off, but at the top of this, uh, it says who posted this, and I'm pretty sure it's Ten to Life. Uh, they got a YouTube channel, so go go check them out. But it says Andrew verified his identity with me via driver's license, social security card, and credit card. Andrew and I have been in contact, and he confirmed to an interview discussion last night. However, a couple hours later. When I reached out to confirm a time, he stated the following. To me, this indicates that he may possibly be nervous that nervous the warrant are attached to him and he's relevant, reluctant to speak due to that. If he wasn't concerned about being involved or worried about the warrant, he would have no reason to back out. And I think he'd, he'd be even more inclined to speak to prove Everybody wrong with the eight warrants that he's confident have nothing to do with him. I will keep you up to date on any additional communication. So this is what he said. This MMA 125 is him. Uh, I think I have another video where I'm going to post, uh, talk about some of the stuff he said to people. But it says, well, I just saw something about uh, police serving eight search warrants today and not, uh, not sure how true this is. But it sounds like they have figured something out, so I'll probably just pass and see what comes up with this in the next few days. Thank you for your time, though. So, I agree. If he has nothing to hide at all, the search warrants shouldn't have nothing to do with him, right? Right? I mean, if he has nothing to hide, the eight search warrants shouldn't have nothing to do with him whatsoever. But he's hiding, because now he doesn't want to do the interview because of the eight search warrants. Yeah, that seems a little fishy to me. What do you guys think?